Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be showing you that how basically we can download images from the URL inside our Google Sheets and we can insert the images right here, physical images. So basically this is the URL of the images which are there from the internet, Unsplash, Pixabay, you can just uh, copy paste the URLs of these inside your Google Sheet and basically I will be showing you a simple Google app script which will actually download the images from these URLs one by one. Let me show you this animation here. So you can see we have two functions written here, insert images. First of all it will insert these images inside this Google Sheet. This columns images will be present here and after this we will also be uploading these images directly guys from the URL that you see right here from the Google sheet to directly to our Google Drive you can see we have created an images folder here so inside our Google Drive so all these images will be directly published here inside Google Drive uploaded here from the URL so let me first of all insert these images inside this uh, Google sheet guys so many a times you want the images to be present inside your Google sheet so we have written a simple function insert image let me run this function so let me select this function and click on the run button so as I click run button guys you can see that one by one it will take the URL and it will download these images right here inside the column itself you can see one by one so you can see a total of six images have been successfully downloaded and basically you can see this is the image right here if you see uh, you can even enlarge it and also see here this is a physical image guys you can see that basically the images are there <laughs> inside the cells of the Google sheet and now guys if you want to directly download them inside of a Google Drive basically you need to download these images inside your Google Drive there is a second function which we have written which is a download image function let me run this function now and click on the run button so as I click on run button guys you can see one by one the images will be downloaded to your Google Drive just wait here one by one you will see one two and uh, three four five six a total of six images have been successfully downloaded you can see that guys one two three four five six so these are the two utility kind of Google Apps script we will be writing in this tutorial which will let you download the images from a URL from the internet directly to your Google Drive and to your Google Sheet inside your cells rows and columns so first of all guys I will start from scratch so you need to first of all if you want to the full source code of this tutorial you can just go to the description of this video I have written a complete blog post step by step blog post explaining each instruction in detail so I will highly recommend that you go to this blog post and uh, alongside with watching this video you can read this blog post so let's start building this project so first of all guys what we need to do is that we need to create a new sheet so you just need to go to Google sheet and click on go to sheets and you need to create a blank sheet out there and basically here you can rename this sheet to let's suppose I can say here images just rename to images and basically here guys we can put a column name which is called as picture URL and basically here we can resize this column to create some spacing here and you can just go to your uh, sites such as unsplash.com or pixabay these are two completely free websites to download free images so no copyright is there so stock Im footage you will see stock images so I can just search for my favorite images let's suppose programming so you can see these photographs are there so simply we can say right click copy image address so now we can simply paste it inside our first row simply paste this is you can see that guys basically you can enlarge this this is one and similarly you can uh, do it for any image here let's suppose this one copy image address once again paste it here and similarly you can uh, select this one copy image address so you this process you need to do manually there are also scripts out there which will automatically fetch these images from the unsplash so I can make this tutorial in a later video but for the sake of this you need to simply copy paste the URLs here these URLs can be coming from a database as well so if you have an application the users are uploading images you can also connect to that service as well so this will be an advanced tutorial for this tutorial we just need to manually do this process so after this guys if you see here uh, 
I think it is taking a lot of space out there. Let me just resize this column here. Yes, you can see guys, this is the column. Basically, we are resizing it like this. So we can also increase the size of it guys. Let's suppose you also need to increase the size. You can select these columns and right click and uh, you can simply say here uh, you need to increase the size. So what we can say is that we can simply uh, there is an option out there. Let me say you just need to select these columns here and resize row. This is the option. You can change the height of this. Let's suppose I change it to 60. So now you can see. Uh, sorry, let me. You need to select all these rows, sorry. All these rows and then right click. And there is an option out there to so you can just do it like this. So we have, we can see, we have uh, four images here. So now we need to download the images right here in the columns here, these columns. So what we can do is that basically we will simply click this extensions option, go to app script. And here we will be one by one downloading the images. So for this, we need to write a function guys, which will be inserting the images from the URL. So we will write this function and for this guys we need to first of all get the reference to the current sheet. We can use this using spreadsheet app and we will get the active sheet active sheet method and basically this contains the option which is get active sheet get active cell. You can see that get active sheet sorry not active cell get active sheet. Get active spreadsheet sorry this is a method get active spreadsheet this is a method and here we need to invoke get active sheet this is a method so this will get the current sheet guys we are on we will go to the last row of the image how many images are there so we will get to the last row by this function which is get last row and then we will use a simple for loop guys so we will loop through iterate over all the urls which are there so we will say last row minus one so just indexing start from zero that's why i plus plus and inside this first of all we will get the url guys of the image by using she dot get range so basically here we are providing the range guys of the columns here you can see it's uh, a1 a2 we need to start from a2 so here we need to put a formula here 2 plus i so for each value of i guys the column will remain constant which will be 1 these rows number will change because 2 plus 0 will be 2 this will be the first row 2 plus 1 will be 3 2 plus 2 will be 4 2 plus 3 will be 5 so every time it will iterate over all the rows here the column will remain the same which is the first column that's why we are providing the second argument to be 1 all the time and we need to get the value of this column so get value this is a function we need to call here like this so this will get the actual image url after this guys we need to insert this or download this image from this url and insert it to a column called as this column this 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 so now we need to loop through it and here we also need to get spreadsheet app and here we will say new cell image and here we will be inserting the image inside the cell so that's why we are using this method new cell image basically this method what does it, it creates a builder for a cell image and basically we need to set a url so this is a contains the method set source url and here we need to provide the url of the image which is stored inside url that's it after doing this we need to simply move to the next line sheet get range and here we will simply say 2 plus i again this formula Two. this time the column name will be 2 because we are moving to the next column out there guys this is a column and the rows formula will remain constant 2 plus 0 will be 2 2 plus 1 will be 3 2 plus 2 will be 4 2 plus 3 will be 5 so here we are just changing the column to be from 1 to 2 that's it 
and we need to set the value of this column set value and the image whatever is the image that we constructed that's it so that's all guys this is all the code which is required here so now if i save this code here and basically if i now run this code here so what will happen now you will see one by one these images will be first of all if you are running it for the very first time you need to grant the permission so spreadsheet permissions authorization is required so you need to select your account and grant the necessary permission so go to advanced option so this is totally safe because this is your own app so it is saying it will allow these permissions of google sheet so simply click on allow and now as soon as you click allow the images will be downloaded from these urls it will be inserted you will see one by one you can see execution completed last row minus 1 2 plus i 1 get value so you can see that guys uh, basically uh, i think i have created some kind of a problem here let me go backward here undo control z yeah yeah control z so this was it you can see now we have four images out there so once again if i run this script once again click on run so basically execution started you will see one by one the images will be downloaded uh, i think some images you can see only this second image is working out there so i think there is uh, the code is correct here you will see let me copy paste this code once again the code is correct sometimes if you copy the copy the url of the image if it doesn't exist then also it will take uh, if you see once again if i run this you will see first second third fourth oh sorry there was just a typing mistake out there guys so you can see that now it has successfully let me increase the Uh, you can see that the images have been successfully downloaded and inserted in the columns so now we need to download these images inside the google drive guys so now we will be writing the second function which will actually directly upload these images to google drive so for that you need to go to google drive here and you need to create a folder some kind of a folder simply click on uh, new folder and you need to simply say uh, sheet images simply click on create and as soon as your folder is created right click on that folder click on share and basically simply click on copy link anyone with the link copy link this is your link of the folder so if you now this is the id that you have given here so simply you need to paste the id of this folder so this we will need here so simply now do this process we will now write a second function here which is called as download image so you can directly just delete this function we don't no longer need this so we now we need to simply download the images which are present inside the sheet so sheet and basically once again spreadsheet app and we need to get the active spreadsheet so once again the same code will be used guys get active sheet the same logic will be used first of all we will again go to the last row sheet dot get last row and then we need to copy paste the id of this folder guys so simply i will copy paste the id then we will simply run this for loop once again i is equal to 0 last row minus 1 and i plus plus 
So inside this loop, guys, we need to get the URL once again. So we will use once again this get range function, and inside this the formula will be same, guys, two plus i, comma one. So every time we will loop through the URLs here, which are present. Column name will be constant, will be one. Picture URL. This rows will be changing. Two plus zero, two, two plus one, three, as is. And after this, we need to get the value of this. So we will get the URL value. After this, we need to convert this to a blob object, guys. So once ever you are downloading the images into a folder, you need to convert them into a blob. For this, we will use the URL fetch app inside Google Apps Script. It contains this fetch method, and basically it converts the URL to a blob object. And now, in order to convert to blob, we have a function called as get blob. So this contains returns the data into a blob, and then we can simply just uh, transfer this into the folder create file folder dot create file and here we will transfer the blob that's it so now if you run this guys also you need to grant permission for your google drive so simply if you run this again you need to click uh, review permission and click on uh, basically now allow these allow so now if you see one by one the images will be downloaded inside your folder which is sheet images so if you see one by one it will take the url of the images and it will download this inside your folder so it is saying folder create file is not a function mm. folder Okay, okay. Sorry, I made a problem, guys. You can see that it's this needs to be drive drive app. So drive app. This contains a method get folder by id. So that's why I was very shocked. Why it wasn't asking for the Google Drive permission? So we haven't used the drive app. So this is the inside Google Drive. We have a function which is get folder by id. We are selecting the folder by its id. Now if I run this, we need to grant the permission for Google Drive. If you see, if you run this now again, you need to grant the permission for Google Drive. So these permissions are also only granted for the very first time, guys. So in the subsequent subsequent runs, you don't need to allow. You need need not have to do do this process again and again. So now, if you see, it will download these images inside your folder, and you can see one by one, one image. You can even open this image as well. You can see this is the image. All the four images have been successfully downloaded, guys. You can see that you can download them inside your local machine. So this is a very simple process. Google Apps Script how we can download images from URL inside Google Sheet and also to Google Drive. All the source code is given in the description of this video, guys. So please hit that like button, subscribe the channel, and I will be seeing you in the next video.